Could Vader force choke Gojo? Would he be able to get past Infinity? Let's talk about it. So before we dive in, this question comes to us from Marcus today, who says his cousin and his brother-in-law have been arguing about this, so he wanted to get my two cents on it. And I'm happy to oblige, but let me just say off jump that I am not like a Star Wars super lore nerd or anything. I do enjoy Star Wars, grew up on it, right? I've seen all the movies, I've seen some of the shows, both live action and animated, but that's about the extent, right? Never read any of the books, never, you know, have dove deep into the canon or anything like that. So take what I say with a grain of salt. All right, so could Vader force choke the Honored One? And what I'll say here is that we're not doing a versus matchup. I'm not trying to determine who would win in a one-on-one -on -one because again, I'm not that fluent in the Star Wars lore and I know that the scaling gets crazy. Like, I don't know if it's true, but I've heard people say that he's faster than light and that he has like star level attack power. I don't know about any of that. So we're not gonna talk about the hypothetical 1v1. We're just talking about could he force choke this man? All right, so first let's talk about what the force choke actually is. And if we boil it all the way down, it's essentially just telekinesis, right? And I'm sure it goes way deeper than that, but we're just gonna use layman terms here. Vader is able to stick out his hand as if he's choking you, but the pressure and the force exerted by that is instead happening from a distance thanks to the force. But the point is, physics are still at play. There is still a literal force being exerted on someone's throat. Now let's talk about the range on Force Choke. And what's fascinating about this is that Vader doesn't have to be anywhere near you. As we've seen, he has Force Choked somebody by just being able to see them on a monitor. And even in the animated show, we have an example of someone being Force Choked from like potentially galaxies away. Now, I don't remember how actual far this is, but a hologram can just see where the other person is and they are able to choke them. So really, you just need an awareness of where somebody is, regardless if you're actually close to them or not. So, and I'm going to give Force Choke the massive benefit of the doubt here, I'm going to say that its range is limitless, meaning you could be entire light years and galaxies away, but as long as you know where that person is, you could theoretically force choke them. However, just because something has a limitless range does not mean it has an infinite range. And I know that sounds confusing, so let me give an example with counting. So we can count one, two, three, four, five forever, right? Because I will always be able to add one more to whatever number I end on, and I can just keep going. So I can count without limit, but I can't count to infinity because I can always keep going, right? So even if force choke has a limitless range, you have somebody that just keeps taking another step forward, another step forward, another step forward across like a multiversal distance, right? Vader may be always able to force choke them, but he cannot force choke over an infinite distance. And that is what limitless does. It creates literal infinities between things. So even if Vader can get you from however far away, he would not be able to get through the infinity with force choke. Now, somebody out there might say, well, the effect of the force choke doesn't travel. So maybe it would never even come into contact with the infinite distance if Vader could just manifest it right on Gojo's throat. But while that is possible, I'll say, I don't think that's the case because we know that Jedi are able to protect themselves from being force choked by using a like force shield for lack of a better word. And if the, if the effect of the force choke can't just manifest behind the force shield and directly on somebody's trachea, then I think that implies at least least some form of movement or some form of travel, which again, if that's the case, it will never be able to traverse the infinite distance. Also, you got to remember that Gojo himself essentially uses telekinesis with his abilities. So if anyone from the JJK verse, he might be the best prepared to actually defend against something like that as well. Anyways, that's my two cents on it. Marcus, I hope this helps. Thank you again for the really interesting question, man. And y'all be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments, especially if you are a Star Wars junkie.